Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will not be building or looking at Lego. I will be looking at another brick built structure. This one is from Atomic Building Blocks and it's called Notre Dame de Paris. I got this really cheap so I thought it would be interesting to sort of build it and I will probably compare it to Lego because that is my benchmark and that is what I know. But yeah, I thought it was interesting. There's not a whole lot of details on the church or cathedral. and But there is some interesting box art right here. And then it says ages 14 and up. There is instructions included. This is the set number 9923. And it comes with 7,380 pieces. And as you can see here, the level of difficulty is seven full stars out of seven. So I don't know exactly what that means, if it's seven out of ten or... But that's what it is. Something I find interesting is the size of the box. It's quite small, especially if we compare here to the A-frame cabin, which I recently built, which has 2,082 pieces. You can see here, if I zoom out a little bit, that they're basically almost the same size. And they're also pretty much the same thickness. So this one has a nice little handle on up top here. And also if we look at the back, it has some nice box art right here. And then you have some various angles of the model you're going to build and then there's also some interesting facts about the cathedral here so yeah i thought i'd open it up we'll take a look what what it comes with inside and then i'll build it and then we'll take a look at the final building from the atomic building blocks i saw that they had also other models available some easier one and some other ones but I thought this one is a good one for me I didn't want to go with a too small one or too easy one so I thought this is a nice size just to try them out just to see what they're about ah okay so it comes like this so I think I'll have to lay it down here So once you open the box, this nice other cardboard box slides out where you have everything inside. You have some bags here with really, really tiny bricks inside. There is no numbers or labeling on the bag. So it'd be interesting to see how you're going to find all the different pieces. And then a little sticker in Chinese, fantastic. And then you have these that you're going to place them on. I don't know if these are sort of like a base plate type. Let's compare here. I have a base plate right here. Let's do like so. Okay, so it's a little bit, yeah, just a stud short on each side of a normal or a Lego base plate. And then also you see the, if you compare the studs, you can really see how tiny this is. So you get two of those. So it's basically a... Oh, we can see here. So you get two of those. And then you get these four here. And then here you can see the size of it. So it's 50.3 centimeters in length and then 26.3 centimeters wide, and then 36 centimeters tall. 
not a whole lot of detail if you compare it to Lego, like there would be a whole lot more details. This is more of a rougher building, I would say, but been just interesting to try, I think so. Oh, the instructions look interesting as well. Yeah, I'll let you guys know when I, uh, I'll show you the progress when I'm working on this, but yeah, it'll be interesting to try these new uh, instructions here as well. So. so now I have built just a little more than halfway of the build and it takes a long time because of all the small pieces and also the amount of pieces. I've uh, finished the uh, base structure here now and I'm gonna start working on the towers. So I will give you guys an update and my thoughts on it once I have the complete building finished we can take a look. So now that I've finished the build I thought I'd just put it here with the brick bank next to it just to kind of show the difference in size and the difference in scale as well if you compare the doors of the brick bank compared to the door to the church so I thought we just do a little bit of scale comparison and size comparison before we look at the build by itself so from a distant this set looks nice it, it looks like it has a lot of details a lot of nice architecture a lot of interesting building techniques and it does it does have all that and from a distance it it uh, does look great if you put it on a shelf or, or somewhere where people can't really get close to it uh, you get your value out of this set but what happens is when I build it and then when I moved it here uh, because of the poor quality of the bricks that I've I found out I would say it is poor quality because I will show you up closer later on here it's uh, how the bricks are constructed and also the molding of the bricks which uh, you'll see remnants of and also um, yeah, just the, the quality and just the detail, the, the, the details in the bricks, it's, it, uh, it's a little bit annoying because they don't have the quality control as you'll find with Lego. So I'll bring you in close here and we can take a look at the, the build and also I'll point out the problems with the set that I found and uh, I'll show you some other things as well and then... Uh, you guys can decide for yourself what you think think about it but let's let's get in a little closer here and take a look so here is a problem that i had all through the build and even now when i moved it from my building station to my review area here is that because of how the bricks are constructed and they don't have the same clutch power as lego bricks have you can see here there's all these cracks and separations in the build like here and that thing sort of spreads throughout the whole build process you see here and it creates problems all the way and there's also a poor quality on the bricks like here for example you can see remnants of the mold and also I've noticed with some of them they are too tight so when you place them on the studs you see how they start to break up you can see it clearly on the brown ones here these two white lines is the brick breaking spreading apart because there's a stud here and you can even see on this side here on the other side how it just forces the brick out because there's no space because they have not adjusted for that same on the gray one right here it's just and also you can see the cracks here. It's just a, not the quality control that you see at Lego at all. It's the same with this roof line. You can see how it, it's not even. Look at the, the ridge right here. It's not straight and you have all these cracks in here. And that's all because of how 
the brick system is is uh, built up and created so it was quite hard to put it together because it kept breaking it was a little bit like when i built the the lego botanical gardens flower bouquet because it's very very sensible to the touch if you are building here and you you, you touch some of these things, they are quite loose and wobbly, so that's that's an issue. It's definitely an 18 plus set in my mind. They have put 14 here, but uh, I think this is a little bit too advanced for a 14 year old. I think it's a little bit tedious for a 14 year old, but that's the age limit or the age range that they think is suitable so as I was approaching the end of the build I noticed that there was one of these 2x6 gray plates that should be in here but it's missing um, there was a lot of other pieces left over but that one was missing so that's a problem with their quality control that you don't get all the pieces that you need to complete the build and also on the two towers in the back here, it's the same issue. Because once you complete these pillars up here, you're supposed to do a nice little arch at the top. But there were eight of those arch pieces missing. So you put four on this side and then there's also supposed to be four of those arch pieces in here. To complete that to match the same as this as this is all the way around so that's another thing that is an issue with this set is like the quality control that you don't get all the pieces or extra pieces that you need to complete the set so that's uh, that's a negative I think uh, it it would have been nice when I've gotten so far to be able to complete the whole set so here are all the pieces that are left over from the build when you are finished. At first I thought, oh boy, I must have uh, skipped a page in the instruction book because there are way too many pieces left over here. But I went back and checked and I saw that no, I, I did all the steps. So they just sort of throw in a couple of extra pieces that you might lose or might need but unfortunately they also missed out on one of the two by six gray pieces and also the eight inverted ones to finish the build so it seems a bit sloppy that they add extra pieces kind of willy-nilly and then they also forget to add all the pieces that you need for the build so but just to show your reference here again this is a 1 by 10 atomic building block brick and this is a 1 by 10 lego brick that's how tiny this build is so you can imagine how how small the smallest like this 1 by 3 how tiny this is to place and build so just keep that in mind as well. So just to finish off the video here, I thought I'd just spin the model around so you guys can see all the different angles. I think if the quality control of the bricks would have been better here, I think this could be a really nice set. I think there is a lot of interesting building techniques and I think if the finished product, like if all the bricks clicked together and stayed together while you were moving it and uh, they created nice straight lines because they were all perfect and not uneven like some of these bricks are some of them click in and some of them are very very loose they have zero clutch power I think I might consider buying more of these sets to build but since they are not I think I'm just gonna stay with Lego because here you get you know missing pieces and so it was a nice build I think the, the the final project looked nice from afar 
but once you get up close you see all the imperfections you see the bricks that are breaking because they're just not designed correctly so for me i'm going to be sticking with buying lego sets because i can always use the bricks for other things if i want to dismantle the set here these these pieces i can't use for anything because they only work with the same set of bricks right so that's it for my review of the atomic building blocks notre dame de paris and uh, let me know what you think about uh, the atomic building block line have you tried it before did you have better quality with your bricks and uh, i think that's it see you guys on the next video